and welcome to my new video. Today we learn how to solve dual with simplex method. They are sometimes very easy to solve dual with the simplex method to find the solution if we can't able to find the solution with the primal. So first I will show you how to uh, relate this primal and dual because both are same problem. So I will show you how we will get the same solution with the help of solving either primal or dual solution will be never change. So we start working with the primal with simplex method. So given problem is maximum z is 2x1 plus x2 where 3x1 plus x2 constants are less than 300, x1, x2 less than 200, x1 and x2 are non-zero variable. First write the dual. If we want to transfer dual maximum converted to minimum, minimum z dash is 300 y1 b which is become a new variable are y1 y2. So 300 y1 plus 200 y2, 3 y1 plus y2 is for minimum is greater than 2. y1 plus y2 is greater than 1. y1 y2 are non-negative. So this is our basic dual. Now we solve first the primal with the simplex method. So for solving the primal by the simplex method, we have to change into standard form, introduce slack surplus whatever. So here is the maximum. So introduce the slack variable S1 and S2. So our maximum that is 2X1 plus X2 plus 0S1 plus 0S2. Introducing slack variable S1 here, S2 here. Basic initial solution, we put x1 and x2 0 so give s1 is 300 s2 is 200 so our first table will be derived like this now from there if we find zj minus cj most positive is 2 so 2 means it is entering outgoing vector we find the ratio with this 300 by 3 200 by 1 so minimum ratio is 300 by 3 is 100 so minimum ratio will go out so S1 go out, X1 in. So key element is 3. With this, we have to rewrite the table 2. You already learned how to write the next table. I write here for you. In next table, again we calculate Zj minus Cj. In Zj minus Cj, here we can see this 1 by 3 is only positive value. So this is the incoming vector which is outgoing. We find with the ratio. It's 300 by 1 by 3 is 300, it's 300 by 2 is 150. So minimum ratio is this one. So for this one, S2 is come in and then S2 is going out, outgoing vector, incoming is X2. So write the table 3. So in third table, you can see this is our third table. From third table, Z, Cj minus Zj is non-positive. We will not get here any positive value. So our iteration stops here and the solution, optimal solution is x1 is 50, x2 is 150. When we substitute here 50 and 150, we will get the maximum Z is 250. That's our solution with the help of primal by using simplex method. Now, one thing you always remember in now we are start to solving this dual so for dual from here i can say what is the solution of that dual for dual always give the values y1 and y2 is it's here so values of slack variable are values of y1 and y2 so when we solve this dual with simplex method we will get y1 is minus 1 by 2 and y2 also minus 1 by 2 let's see so with minus 1 by 2 y2 also minus 1 by 2 our solution will be same but for dual we start with the invisible solution not the faceable solution or if sometimes problem have invisible solution we will solve with the dual simplex method so let's see solve with this problem let's solve the dual problem for dual problem it's minimum z we convert it to standard form so we rewrite minimum z into maximum of minus z bar is minus 300 y1 minus 200 y2 
Now from here, constants also because greater than sign for minimum we convert into the opposite sign. So it converted into 3 by 1, it's greater than sign. And where y1, y2 are 0. So before writing that, we can rewrite it with introduce here surplus variable s1 and s2. So if surplus variable we introduce here, it will become 3 y1 plus y2 plus s minus s1. y1 plus y2 minus of s2 because surplus variable are negative. But when we change these constants, see it will become negative. So minus 3 y1 minus y2 plus s1. That surplus variable change the sign s plus s1 and plus s2. So in that case, we don't need to introduce the artificial variable. Now, and the maximum z function is minus z all on one side plus 300y plus 200y2 equal to 0. So consider this is an in basic feasible solution and start to calculate. So table 1 we can calculate from here 0 0 as well is minus 2 and minus 1. It's not feasible because we don't consider the negative solution but the dual start with infeasible solution and then note down the matrix again z cj minus zj most positive is 2. So the minimum ratio is 2 by 3 1 by 1. So 2 by 3 is minimum. So outgoing vector is this key element is this with this we write the next table when we write next table most positive value is this 100 so incoming vector is y1 y2 so incoming vector is y2 and then ratio will be 2 by 3 upon 1 by 3 so 2 is its ratio and here minus 1 minus minus cancel so 1 by 2 is the ratio so minimum is 1 by 2 so outgoing is this vector S2, incoming is Y2. Now again we write, write the table 3, where table 3 we writing, we can see nothing is positive. So we stop our iteration here. From here we can see what is our Y1 is 1 by 2, Y2 is 1 by 2. We substitute here Y1 and Y2. Then when we substitute minus 300 by 1 by 2 minus 200 by 1 by 2. So our minus z dash is minus of 250. Then z dash minimum z dash is 250 which is same solution which we get from the primal solution. Now from dual we can find the values of primal uh, variable. Our primal variable are x1, x2. So x1, x2 is given by the slack variable. This is 50 and 150. See, if you remember the tables, there also we get the value of x1 is 50, x2 is 150. And from that tables, the slack variable values are 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Negative, we can change the sign. So it become 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. So dual and primal both are related from 1 we can get the another variable value and it's very easy. So no need to solve both simplex, only you can solve any one of the simplex and get the solution. I'll show both the simplex, both problem with simplex so you can understand what is the relation between both. So from one solution, other variable comes, the value gives from the slack or surplus, whatever we introduce variable. So what is the use of this dual? Sometimes if problems have infeasible solution then we can't solve with the primal because primal start with the feasible solution. So we start working with the uh, dual problem. Another thing if sometimes we have many constants and we have to calculate a lot then we convert into dual. If many constants are there it's dual have constant less equation are longer so less calculation are there so easy to solve let me i will give you one example of a primal and dual let's see one primal is there there maximum z is equal to 2x1 plus x2 where constants are such that x1 plus x2 is less than 300 x1 plus x2 less than 200 
टू एक्स एल प्लस फाइव एक्स टू लेस दैन नाइन हंड्रेड एक्स फाइव एक्स एल प्लस टू एक्स टू लेस दैन सिक्स हंड्रेड एक्स वन एक्स टू आर नॉन नेगेटिव सो फॉर दिस इफ वी वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व दिस वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट देयर आर फोर कंसेंट इफ वी वॉन्ट टू राइट इट्स डूअल सो फॉर डूअल वी विल राइट मिनिमम ऑफ function we can say z dash or g any minimum function so minimum function will made with 300 y1 plus 200 y2 plus 900 y3 plus 600 y4 so 300 y1 plus 200 y2 plus 900 y3 plus 600 y4 and then the constants are 3 y1 plus y2 Plus two y three plus five two y three plus five y four and another constant is y one plus y two plus five y three plus two y four. If minimum, then it's greater than and the result B matrix is two and one, so it's two and one where y one y two y three and y four. All are non-negative. So let's have a look of dual. Dual have only two constants. So for this two constant, when we calculate the simplex method, the calculation will be lesser. From dual, we solve easily. We calculate less. So find the solution with dual, and then from that we replace the function, or we can find we can able to find the value of x one, x two. From the dual solution also, as I show earlier, the slack variable gives the real uh, opposite side of the real variable. So, we, if we solve from here, there are two slack variable. One is S one, another is S two. So S one give X one, and S two value give X two. It's like that. So sometimes dual is more easier than the primal. So we will. Followed with the dual, or if have invasive, infeasible solution, then also solve by the dual problem. That's all for duality. Thank you very much.